Hello everyone, this is a replay of my round 6 match of the Metroid Prime Randomizer 2023 tournament originally broadcasted on Speed Gaming. Thank you to Speed Gaming for hosting myself, the tournament, and the many other events and races that are ongoing. Please show your support to Speed Gaming at both twitch.tv speedgaming and youtube.com slash at speedgaming channel. Thank you. Good evening, Speed Gaming fans. My name is Adam, aka WXFan21, joined by my co-commentator, Avina. Avina, what's happening? Not much. How are you doing? Good, thank you. Avina and I, Avina tried out the uh, recipe I posted in chat earlier on the first game today, but Avina, this is the big game. Quick shout out to our amazing trappers, Op82 and Schwartz. Gandhi. All right, so let's get right into the game because our racers are ready to go. This is a matchup for arguably one of the greatest, oh, excuse me, one of our greatest racers so far this tournament, but also for a spot or two in the playoffs. Indeed, and we have some very fun settings. This is week six, so uh, this is our armory hunt settings. We're starting with a whole bunch of movement items here. We've got all of our Morphal movement systems. We've got Space Jump. We've got Grapple. We're ready to go everywhere, except that's all we have. So these racers are both going to be able to do as many tricks as they know as fast as possible and are trying to collect their beams mm -hmm. and their artifacts or, you know, in Cosmonaut's case, maybe just the artifacts in Phazon. I know so, Jeff can do, yep. you know, that trick in question, too. So, everything is allowed. Exoskip's allowed. IS, if that's normal, is allowed. There are no RAs, and there's a launcher. Also of note, I didn't quite get to it. Uh, there is only one missile in this entire world. It gives you the main missile launcher, 250 missiles, and there's no expansions anywhere. So, they have every missile now. In addition, to replace all of those missing missiles, there is a total of 56 energy expansions spread throughout the world. And they only give a quarter of what they normally do. So each E you pick up is only 25 energy, not the 100 we're all used to. Yep. And that's also something else to keep in mind, and we found this out yesterday during the first game. The Metroid Prime HUD will max out at the end. I believe it's 14. So they'll continue 14, yes. to accumulate energy, even though we can't see it on stream. So these racers not only got to keep in mind where they're going, they got to keep in mind how much energy they have. To be fair to both of these racers, once they have the HUD filled up, they have enough to finish the rest of the game. They don't need mm -hmm. more than the, like, about three tanks you get from a full HUD. Also, I don't know if you noticed it, but Cosmo using a... SJ list strats to get up here to check artifacts. Very nice. fun. Despite starting with space jump. More E. Yep. We're going to see plenty of energy tanks here in this run. And this is going to be really cool. So we will find out where our artifacts are shortly. Possibly. Possibly, right. I know I hate reading them and then forget I never read them. Mm. Oh, there we go. Right at the start. All right, so SCA, Fiery Shores, Hall the Elders, Hydra Access Tunnel, Magma Pool, Research and Lab, Hydra. Hydra. That is a potentially not bad series of artifacts, mm -hmm. depending on a couple of items that like to be bad. Also, if you didn't tune in to the 11 a.m. Eastern Time race today, you need to go back and watch that VOD. Especially because one of their artifacts is in the only check that neither player looked at in the entire game. <laughs> it was an outstanding race. Uh, be prepared to watch for quite some time. The RAs were absolutely insane. So, Plan this... an afternoon around it. You know. yep. This is a very straightforward race. So this is, again, called Armory Hunt. This is not Major Minor. So everything here 
is all randomized. It's not in major minor locations. Cosmo's getting yet another E-Tank. And, oh, hello, Plasma. Well, oh, Cosmo's going to go out of bounds, going okay? Out of bounds. This is one Again, of the easier out of bounds. All legal. All legal. This one's not too bad if you've practiced it a few times. And they're rewarded with nothing. Hooray! Not sure. Jeff about to uh, have the same mm -hmm. lovely discovery. Cosmo doing fast movement as what we saw we've been seeing from him. So Jeff is uh, going to now drop all the way down. I also want to give a shout out to you, Sandris. We were both in uh, the Super Metroid Speed Gaming main channel as they have qualifiers going on for um, SG Live 2023. I'll be commenting commentating one of those tomorrow. So big uh, big shout out to uh, Sandris over there. So we're heading right into Chozo. It's nice to actually do a, watch our normal elevator not going to anywhere that was nuts earlier all right so my guess is cosmo is gonna head right over to oh, was that was that ice spider I, th I think that's wave in the tree i think that that's might flamethrower have... oh that's hilarious but the tree i think was bombs was it bombs I'm pretty sure it was. Sorry, my uh, mic <laughs> like got caught on my chair, so I missed mm -hmm. a little talking. But I'm pretty sure that was bombs right there. He says that now, Chet. He just doesn't want to talk to me. I got it. Yeah, we have a love-hate relationship. <laughs> Cosmo choosing to skip tower completely. Again, we don't have wave, so he's a standard... Standard door locks, I believe, correct? Yes, this is a normal seed except for the start with all movement. And Listen, energy. earlier's race may or may not have kind of That's messed fair me enough. up on what the heck we saw. It was insane. That's totally understandable. <laughs> hey, at least we're not starting off a frigate. So, more Starting eat. off dead. Thank you, Cestrion, for that amazing clip. Poor, poor, poor Cestrion. Chat is very split on the pickup of the flamethrower. Mm. Well, we're seeing something interesting That's over there. Ice spreader? What is this? Oh, it's yeah. That's kind of expected with bombs and tree. Um, I mean, a cursed super seed with bombs and trees sounds like amazing, and I'd love to talk about it, but Randovania is not <laughs> necessarily all about that life. Is Jeff going right to Zoid? Oh, no, he's in Vault. Okay. No, I was going to say, I'm like, yeah. what? He's basically doing the same loop, but backwards. Hmm. I think. Maybe not. Oh, he doesn't have bombs. He can't do it backwards. I would have done the same thing. We. Honestly, uh, bombs should be considered a movement item. You think? There's more tricks named after bomb jumps than anything Fair. else. So what was in tree if Cosmo is not going? Oh, he doesn't have charge movements, right? That's he doesn't have charge. He can't. Yeah. E tank. Oh yeah, Jeff isn't boosting. That's a good point, chat. Jeff says slow and steady wins the race. This is gonna totally just be vanilla charge, isn't it? Well, we saw. Uh, what, what did someone call it? French vanilla gravity in the morning seed. Yeah, French vanilla when it's in the same room but different spot. <laughs> it's insane. It's almost vanilla, but a little better. Multi Jeff wants... going through this wall boost. Mm-hmm. 
It's not the hardest, but it's definitely the most. Nicely done, oh wow! Jeff. And nothing. nothing. I was gonna say it's the most annoying, but. Hmm. You getting vanilla charge? Multi nope. wants uh, max pain apparently. They already got that this morning. Charge and key pieces. Oh, but that, there's your French vanilla. Oh my goodness! Really? Sorry, Multi, we don't get uh, charge in PPC this race. French Vanilla! It's worth noting, I at least am in awe of the movement of these two players. Yes. I like to think I'm okay. I like to think most of the people in this race are more than okay, or this tournament rather. And then you These have two Cosmo are special. Using boost. Yeah, and then you have Cosmo looking like he's using that boost ball like a rocket. Even Jeff just zooming. Mm hmm. There we go. There was bombs. Nicely done. Cosmo's gonna go clear the bomb check. Imagine speedrunning Metroid oh. Prime for the Nintendo GameCube. Mm. So much energy. So many energy tanks. Cosmo with the uh, rare beetle fight. Obviously, Cosmo is going. Got the item. Mm -hmm. Cosmo is going so fast in Discord that the stream is lacking. Like it looks way smoother for you all on stream. For me in Discord, it just looks like he's just skipping frames at this point. Oh my goodness! And here goes Jeff, also skipping frames. Oh boy, oh boy. Remember, if you're ever in a fight in Metroid Prime. You want one of these two on your side. That's all I'm saying. Yep, chat's happy with Beetle Jam. I was going to say, maybe they forgot this isn't... Uh, Major Minor? ...in-game time, or mm -hmm. maybe they just really like the jam. Possible. We're getting our Dynamo checks now. I mean, Cosmo has bombs... Jeff doesn't have supers yet or charge. Jeff is on the way to get charge. Yes. Yep. Uh, did Jeff not go to Hive Totem then? Did I, I miss don't think that? So. I don't think Jeff went there yet. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he did go to Hive Totem. Oh, he did. should have okay. supers. Okay. Thank you, Schwartz. Look at Co Cosmo. Cosmo apparently got a hot date after this. My goodness, dude. <laughs> While Cosmo zips around, Jeff's about to find out that he has bombs and mm -hmm. probably go retrace the steps that Cosmo just took. Cosmo making Samus look like Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah, he's he's playing the game like he normally does, Miguel. Absolutely you are correct. Absolutely, wouldn't have it any other way. So, to recap, if you're just tuning in, Cosmo is four and one. Jeff is three and two. Jeff needs to win to pretty much keep playoff hopes alive. Even if, I mean, if Cosmo wins, Cosmo's pretty much guaranteed playoffs. To answer a question in chat, this uh, week we actually start with every movement item. Um, that is the gimmick of week six for the seed. So everyone racing this week in this tournament will have boost, spider, grapple, space jump, etc. Yeah, it's very exciting and has led to a lot of do everything all at once right away in Shoso. Mm -hmm. So this is our third game so far for week six. There were going to be a ton more coming. More nothing. Also, uh, 
Here you go, WX. You get to see Cosmo slow down a bit while he sits on top of Zoid. <laughs> I just love the movement. Honestly, in my opinion, that's the best part of this game. Like, mm -hmm. there's a lot of crazy tricks. The out of bounds gets weird and all that. But really, like, when you look at the best of the best, the players like Cosmonaut, just the, the skill cap on walking forward in this game is so high. There's just so much into it. Like, the first 13 frames of a jump, you should hold L, and then she'd let go, and you should be holding R because that increases your jump movement frames and your forward and upward momentum and so on. There's so much going on in just moving forward. Yep. Oh. And that's what most of that's a great Varia location. Damn, so Zoid is required. I apologize. I didn't do my normal my Zoid spiel, but Cosmo has Varia. So I wonder if we're gonna see Cosmo just jump, like fly right to Magmore. I think at this point you get the couple of checks that are right here that are in logic in uh, both the. Uh, uh, I completely forget Ooh. the name of the room. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm sorry. Hang on. Who's saying that the Varia suit's the best suit? Fired. All Me? of you. Fired. I'm going to say that. Oh, he's fired. It's a very a good suit. Fired. All of you. If we're talking... But it's very like a good. It, I mean, sure. It's standard. I... Look, just because I play a lot of Super Metroid, Jeff is I really going like for gravity. plant. Sorry to interrupt, but no, you're fine. We've seen plenty of plant today. Mm -hmm. Enough for uh, three races at least. This will make it four. We've seen enough plant for a lot of things. Oh my goodness! Thanks, Cestrion. Yeah. Fusion Varrier is... Yeah. I mean, like, I, I like Gravity because I like the the purplish blue, the bluish purple or purplish blue suit. I'm also a big Super Metroid fan, so, like, I just... Gravity makes life in that game a lot easier, too. Plants vs. Ghosts, the new uh, hot hit mobile game. Uh, there was actually two elevators that led directly to Plant in the earlier race. Yeah, that race earlier really liked going to Sun Chamber. Opinion invalidated. Thanks, Miguel. Mr. Miguel, excuse me. Expect craziness in that race. I believe we were on Speed Gaming 2 earlier, if you're interested in that VOD. So, I think we're seeing, most likely, a play to Magmar from Cosmo, but Oh never my mind. goodness. He turned around. No. If only we got to see Spore Spawn as often as we see Flagra. We're not spoiling anything. Just saying that you have to. You have to you allow have to yourself watch it. You have a to watch decent it. amount of time. And yes, uh, Delta Toast is correct. We should probably talk about it less. After all, um, these the two group. are putting on the, the show for us. Yep. They are the focus. Cosmo Cos getting the nothing. Let's go. More nothings for Cosmo. While Jeff finishes, tries to finish up? Flogger. I mean, if Flogger has something of major importance, this is going to be huge. That means Cosmo will, will, will have to row back to Flogger. I also do really like uh, Jeff's play here to fight Flogger, although uh, he's on the wrong side of that little bar to hit the slot there. Oh, never mind. He got it. Nicely done from Jeff. 
two different thoughts going to this one. You know, obviously Cosmo is a great player. You know, oh, yeah. I would be going out of my way to make these long, slow checks that you know Cosmo is yep. going to dodge. But yep. also, uh, you kind of start with everything for ghosts in this seat. Oh. So checking ghosts early yep. feels really strong. And in my practices was. My actual race, it was not. But, you know, that's how life is. Yeah, so we got energy tank on Flagra. It'll be interesting. Like you said, why, why not go check Ghost right now? You have charge, you have supers, you got spider. And Jeff shows Jeff. off. You only yep. need to go down to the third little tick, those little triangles on the side of the spider track, to reset the room and fight ghosts. I know he is one of many people who professes that every chance he gets, and uh, hopefully he is proud that we recognize it. <laughs> yes, Miguel, it is low enough. It's just above the third bar, actually. While Jeff fights ghosts, we've got Triclops Pit and Storage Cave? I don't know what you call this. Tricop storage cave? Nothing. It's storage cave or storage cavern. I mix them up. Storage, storage cavern. cavern. Thank there you, you go. Thank you, Schwartz. So while we have this, and it's another E tank, so unfortunately, Sun Chamber is dead. Just a couple E tanks. But again, you can't blame Jeff at all. You make a good point, Avina, that with how, like, fast Cosmo goes and you know he's probably not going to check Sun Chamber right away, that could have been an advantage for Jeff there. Thanks, Mario. I'm pretty sure I've read that a few times and I'll continue to forget. They're both just storage cave in my brain. <laughs> so that's what yeah. it is. Jeff is no, by no means out of this. Jeff is firmly in this race. Also, Cosmo could come back and try his hand at uh, Flogger and Ghosts anyway. So Absolutely. It's not like a wasted investment. Nope. What is that? Another E Just tank e in Shore Tunnel? Yep. So we have nothing in Magamore so far, but now we're going to get a couple of checks here headed up towards Warrior Shrine. And this check as well, which is another E tank. Cosmo not going for. Workstation? Um, they need oh, sorry, wave. monitor station. Monitor station. Yeah, no, this is monitor station. They just did a. Oh my god. Very, yeah. very quicker than you'll see most racers move through that room. Bad grammar, but they went fast. Let's see what we have here on the way to Fendrana. Uh, that's oh plasma. Oh my goodness, that's <laughs> plasma beam. Yeah, what I would be seed? going directly into Fendrana, exactly as Cosmo is doing right now. That sounds melt, like a very good play. Melt all the ice. And Jeff is still clearing out checks here in yep. mid Chozo, but running low on checks. So hopefully we'll make their way to... Uh, you know, Barrio suit and all their incredibly important plasma beams that are just curiously right on the way to Fendrana. Not true. So we got. So we still need phase on. We still need power bombs, uh, wave, and ice. But again, exo skip is allowed. So. Technically, Cosmo just needs phase on and the artifacts. I don't know if Jeff knows Exos. Does anyone know Jeff, if Jeff knows Jeff does definitely. Okay, so this is gonna be a, this, this, I don't, this be a battle with know Exos Jeff well enough to say they'll confidently just rip it yep. and just do Exoskip. Um but there's a good chance they'll attempt it if they find themselves in a situation where they're like missing themes and all that, and they're racing someone yeah. who knows how to do it. As Shorts mentioned, I totally stole that from you. Thank you. So. 
Oh, well. What'd I do? Oh, I was thanking Schwartz. Oh, okay. Way to go, Schwartz! I also feel like Jeff would try it if the situation presents itself. Yeah. Sam and uh, a couple of questions to Jeff were how I personally was able to figure it out. It's not as scary and hard as it sounds. It's not fun. I mean, basically, chat, Avina didn't want to embarrass the rest of the runners. Like, Avina would have already had this seed done. Uh, I saying. didn't want to embarrass myself, is what you meant to say. <laughs> Just E under that plasma check. So there's only yep. one... Uh, yeah, one really easy plasma check here. And Jeff's going to be happy with that uh, Varia suit as well. Yeah, Jeff's going to get his Varia, hopefully go directly into... I couldn't even Magmar. see what that was. Was it... Was it a Noctroid? I couldn't even see it from Cosmo. Yes, early newborn is the worst thing in the world. Unless you actually enjoy breaking your save state button in Dolphin or whatever uh, emulator you use. Mm-hmm. So, Ice Ruins West is probably at the top of Cosmo's mind right now, and I do not blame them. Yep. Because with that plasma being found where it was, I would be gunning for the same place. Mm hmm. Jeff is going to go to. Just e an tank. E. Okay, and this is. And we're going to see what's in Canyon. Well, Jeff uh, discovers that there's nothing in the two furnace checks and can't mm -hmm. really go any farther. Looked like a notroid. I completely missed it. Oh, that not. looked like ice beam. Oh, it's ice beam! Or maybe it... wave. Is it wave? It's wave. Oh, it's wave. The uh, graphic wave. fidelity on our end is not the best. No, it's really not. Sorry, chat. You have a much nicer looking picture here on on the the stream than we really do in this one. I'm just saying. Whoever called out the wave coming next, good call. Also, this opens up a lot of uh, with the multi uh, item placements. A lot of mm -hmm. really. Can we also get the, the beam offense. dot waves in chat, please. Y'all know you want him. That would have been awful, you know. More E. Um, but now we have a logical Thardis and a logical all of labs. Yep. Which means that plasma might have just been casually placed there to give us like transport access item as our next real progression or something awful like that. That's not terribly awful. Oh, it, it could have just been like gravity chamber upper as the progression. Getting two progression items that don't lock each other like that close together always feels awful because you don't know if it's one of the two that's pointing you where you need to go, or both of them are pointing to your next direction. So Jeff is back at start. Yeah, I don't know why Jeff rode it all the way back to start. I don't, I'm not sure either. I'm not sure either. This is a good intro. There's the artifact. This is a good entrance for Magmar. Yep. Cosmo never gave that pirate a chance. Was that Ice Beam? Possible. That it looked a lot like Ice Beam. It. It, it looked like a beam. 
I think our chances of seeing Exoskip are about zero with the location of uh, these three beams. Mm -hmm. It is Ice Beam. Uh, that is Ice Beam, yep. yep. So Cosmo at this point just needs phase on suit. I'm gonna go back and check. He's just gonna all go the artifacts. get so his artifact. SCA, yep, Fiery Shores, Hall of Elders, Hydro Access Tunnel, and Magnet Pool. At least we don't have 10,000, you know, late lower mines checks. We do have a couple of questions here. Obviously, Phazon's one. Logically, we need to know about gravity, but like in practice, both these runners don't need it. Yeah. Yes, this seed feels very, very, very jet. Yep. Jet's on a skateboard. And Possible yes, as Cestrion mentioned, main power bombs are yep. required. There's only one, because same as the missiles in these settings. Uh, it's just the one. It gives you all of the ammo you would have, so you get eight PBs, but you need it. You cannot beat the game. In this case, without main PBs. And yes, they could be anywhere. We're not quite towards jet ski level. But... Vanilla would be pretty funny. Vanilla. Do, 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 do. I'm a fan of like Jeff tripping over it in Life Grove or something while Cosmo's been hunting it. That's that's my dream for the rest of the seed. We'll see what phase on or main power bombs? Main PBs. Nice. Vanilla would be funny, yes. Observatory would be hilarious, but we have already seen it. <laughs> Excuse me, Ice Beam and Observatory. Jeff, don't go for Warrior Shine. You're right by the Plasma Beam. Oh, no. Gravity, oh, gravity suit. Da, 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 da. Uh, yes. Just post, you're correct. Energy I tank. I've played this game before. You don't need power bombs to get in the life grove. That's a myth. Like pants. Kidding about that. You know, power bombs here would be wonderful. Fair. I wonder if Cosmo got caught in the wall. I wonder if power bombs are going to be here in grab chamber. It's funny that gravity. That and Frigate are both in the back of my mind, and I'm upset by both of them. <laughs> You're upset about what? Uh, power bombs in lower or uh, crashed Frigate or <laughs> Gravity Chamber. Mm. I dislike both of those areas. <laughs> Not droid. This is unfortunate for Jeff, who walked right up to the plasma beam that would have baited them into the other two beams mm -hmm. and turned around. Hopefully they'll go check that because the last place they have a bunch of easy checks is Vindrana, which will put them on the right track and give them a chance to keep pace for a bit this has been a very linear seed though so yeah nothing not too a lot of crazy here. for divergence and catching up looks like nothing in gravity chamber mm -hmm. 
gravity chamber itself is almost as dense as all of Frigate, to be fair. Sestry on when something rude. At least it wasn't as rude as your seat earlier, Sestrion. Thank you again, by the way, for that seat. Oh. That was wonderful. Jeff is on yep. their way through the beam highway. While Cosmo finishes their uh, approximately one Fendrana lead. And then look at that. More E. The content and the memes are absolutely. All I do enjoy uh, Runner One. Nice, nothing. Getting their last check in Fendrana, probably about the time that yep. Runner 2 gets their first check in Fendrana. They are literally one Fendrana apart. Mm -hmm. Cosmo wants nothing to do with Thardis. It would be one of the easiest Thardis fights of his life. That would be a good way for Jeff to catch up to if Thardis just happens to be like main PBs. Yep. Or phase on or something. About the Crab Chamber out. was Co irrelevant. Yeah, and Cosmo is about to most likely go check plasma processing. Thardis is slow without PBs, but at this point you are looking for literally PBs. Um I, I don't disagree with not doing it, but I also don't. Yeah, not droid in uh, workstation. Phase on Thardis would be less rude of the options. That is an amazing. I did not know you could dash from there. I need to watch Thestrion play more. I know about the rest of this climb he's doing, but I didn't know that first dash. That's amazing. Mm. Oh, Cosmo? Yeah, Cosmo, sorry. Yeah. I was reading Cestrion in chat. <laughs> hey, Cestrion, I didn't realize you were in this run. He still hasn't finished from the last one. It's been brutal. <laughs> he still hasn't finished from the last one. Wow, the shade. Cosmo, not yet. That's, that's <laughs> what I meant. <laughs> I'm sorry. Sorry for everybody involved. Ah, oh, you're fine. Oh, that's a dash and slope jump. I'm going to do that once just so I can say I've done it and never do it again. There you go. Another E-Tank in Plaza Processing. Um, That jump with Space Jump is in logic with enough E just from the underwater slope jump. The uh, Watery Hall one that was mentioned in the chat. It's the one in uh, the one to get to Tower Chamber that was not put in logic. Hmm. Cosmo is warping back to start. Probably going to go through Frigate. But yeah, um, also bombs were locked by super missiles, so there's no way that gravity could have been used to put the uh, charge into logic. You could not have gotten all the way there without bombs. So Cosmo's either going to go grab the elevator or go clear. Forget. Probably forget. Uh, with all beams, and you know... Nope. Skipping for Yeah, I, I would be going this way and checking. You're just, like, right here. These are out of the way from any other direction. 
<laughs> that ice spreader? <laughs> nice ice spreader. Yeah. Go get your hydro access tunnel. Plasma. Uh, Jeff gets his uh, second of the three beam smorgasbord. As we get to listen to the good old cat jam. Oh. I hardly knew her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, ISIS Observatory. <laughs> yeah. Cosmo's just making Forget look so easy. Like, this is... Uh, of the vanilla playthroughs that, like, I've played, I haven't played a Prime Rando yet, but, like, this is... This is also not one of my favorite rooms here that Cosmo's doing right now. Like, Forget the music is nice, but it is... Pain to go through. Definitely one of those rooms where uh, you kind of like don't know it and you don't want to do it, and you start to figure out the strats, and you're like, "Yeah, I'd I rather avoid frigate, frigate altogether." To be honest. But then you like fully get frigate, and you're like, "I don't want to do frigate. Why would I do frigate? It sucks." And it's time to check what's in here. Not a Nothing. Hooray! Please make sure to follow our amazing runners and commentary team and trackers. Our tracker team. Exclamation point. Our exclamation point. See in chat. Thank you, Avina. Please make sure to follow for sure. Greatly appreciate it. Hydro access tunnel is in fact an artifact. Do, do, do. No bar skip today. Jeff's about to get their first artifact. The tank. Cosmo's just gonna get out of here right now. Can't blame them at all. And it's time to head into Farchozo. We know. That Hall of the Elders has an artifact, so Cosmos probably picked that up for his third artifact. Be interesting to see what Antichamber and some of these other locations here in Farachoso have. An E tank and Antichamber. Elder Chamber could have something here, too. Is that what that was? I, th I thought he was going just to check some of the other items first. No, he completely skipped the fight with the uh, Chozo Ghost. Very and... nice. Yeah. It's not nearly as easy as he made it look. Mm. Of course, now he has to trigger it so he can actually check the items in this room, but yep. very clean way to get that check done first. Definitely optimal routing.
Gonna get the artifact here first. Then we'll get Elder Chamber next. While Jeff does... I uh, guess, anyway. My second favorite trick? Third favorite? Oh, the control tower one? I kind of really want to try that. <laughs> it's so easy. I actually... Uh, I The first time I played this game, 21 years ago, uh, ended up... There's the artifact. Um, mm -hmm. Ended up stuck because I couldn't find it. And the first video I saw was how to get it that way, not the nice. actual logical, normal way to get it. Probably another two years before I learned that that was a skip. What is the actual logical way to get that? I forget. You jump into the tower where you normally go down, where mm -hmm. Jeff is right now. And with Plasma Beam, you can shoot an ice wall and then shoot a missile at those three little protruding things. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah. Got it. And we're going to see what's in Elder Chamber. And it's an E-Tank. So this is our final check. Chozo minus Life Grove is clear. Again, we can't get in a Life Grove. We have not found main PBs yet. So the two biggest items left are main PBs and Phazon Suit. Yes, that does logically require PB or uh, missiles. Plasma words. The control chowler check. Is sounds like the two words. I've talked before, I promise. Avina can words, it's okay. I don't know where Cosmo wants to go. Um, he's thinking as well, so that's fair. I mean, Cosmo hasn't checked Flagra, so there's that check. Jeff is on their way to, uh, discover all of the fun in Farfen. Yep. I think Cosmo is going to go fight Flagra. Oh, yeah. We've already seen all of Sun Chamber. Oh, yeah, Training Chamber. We haven't That's seen right. any of Tower of Light. Yep. Oh, is... right, right, right. Good call. We didn't have Wave at that point. So we got the Tower of Light checks. We got the Magma Pool check. Which I think is another artifact. I think. Power of progression question mark. Listen, a couple of days ago it was Tower of Suits. There was Gravity and Ruin Shrine, Phase on in um Power Chamber and then I think Vario was Tower of Light. I was over some combo like that. A fun note, our uh, go modes so far this week have been race one, bombs, race two, getting to impact crater and through phase on core, <laughs> hoping we had <laughs> enough beam combos just in case. Oh, that was crazy. And today, our go mode is potentially just power bombs, yep. which we've been looking for. For over half of this race. Yep, nice E. Nice nothing. So yeah, Tower of Light. Yeah, the good old days when uh, Cosmo. power missiles existed. Cosmo. Oh, we can't get it. That's right, no power bombs. I was going to say, duh. Cosmo checked it. They have... Uh, uh, X-ray. X-ray, yeah. And also, they're looking for power bombs, which can't yep. be behind power bombs. I'm so used to them just having power bombs by this point. Yeah, mm -mm. expansions. <laughs> Jeff finishing up Farfin. Where do you think they're going to go next? They have all of the checks Cosmo just went through, basically. 
I think if I'm Jeff. Straight to tower away. Can you, I mean. Oh, yeah, they Jeff... still gotta do uh, Thardis. Yeah. I mean, that, I'm, it, if Thardis has either main PBs or phase on, that could be huge for Jeff. Main PBs would probably be best. Mm. Nothing in chamber. Nope. And now we'll see what's on Tower of Light. Or the top of Tower of Light. I think that's Jeff's best case scenario right now. Clearing Thardis. And then if it is, like I said, if it's main power bombs or phase on, that is going to give Jeff a Tower chance. Tower spite. Of... Jeez. Yeah, this... The, yep. Oh, nothing. Tower of nothing. Tower of nothing. This is, yes, as you said, Jeff's best chance if Yeah, this will go... be Jeff's best chance for sure. If they go for Thardis. Yep. And like, like, yep, like I was saying, if you Thardis is nothing. required, then that is going to give Jeff a chance. Because we've seen Cosmo so far not wanting to any uh, bosses, uh. and Jeff is going to go do the same thing. So there is a high-end probability that Thardis is required, but neither runner has checked it. Hey, Sestrion, can you do us a favor? Can you hop in the seed? Just like, I don't know, ghost in, astral project, do something and check what's on Thardis for us. Please and thank you. <laughs> K Rise, like, do it. That's true about committing to bosses, but Jeff already made an early commitment to. Uh... Blogger. Yep. And... Sorry. Oh, <laughs> you're good. I, I got excited. <laughs> I I do too now when I uh, hear the word plant. Um, <laughs> and it has made a couple check. of, like, grenade throw checks. Mm -hmm. I'm really wondering if we're going to have to go, like, is Omega Pirate going to have something? Is I Fungal so. Hall going to have something? PMT just, like... I'm kind of suspicious at this point of Lower Minds having one major items. Jeff, uh, going to casually Sestrion regret Sestrion Tower of Disappointment. <laughs> Pretty sure I'll get smacked by T.O.'s if I do. This community is great. I've said it before. I'm probably going to continue saying it. Like, the Metroid Prime randomizer community, just the Prime community in general, has been so welcoming. Been here now about a week, week and a half, and just everyone's so welcoming. Nothing in Quarry. Nothing so, uh, in Quarry. yeah, exclamation point MPR. You all should check out the Discord, check out the bracket, and everything as well, so. So, appreciate that. And, chat, if you've listened to me commentate before, where's Cosmo right now? Say it. You know you want to. He's in the... Poop shoot. Poop shoot. The poop shoot. <laughs> oh, come on. There we go. Main PBs. Wow. This is uh, probably the end of the game for Cosmo. Just some uh, pick yes. up collection. There you go. So Cosmo just needs phase on. But yes, that is the poop shoot room. Or as I've been calling it, the poop shoot. Also the cleanest poop shoot. Just saying. After all the hype, yes, that is uh, not as exciting as PBs could be. But let's be nope. honest, we could uh, all use a break after... What we witnessed this morning. <laughs> ah. We're going to continue to tease that, by the way. Yeah, we should probably draw a line somewhere. Yeah. What channel were we on this morning, Avina? Was it Speed Gaming 2? Two or three? I want to say it was, yeah, it, it was one of them. So definitely go back and watch that mod. It was awesome. 
if you watch the first like 30 seconds you'll totally you understand. understand the entire race yep 100 percent all right let's see what phase on elite has hey, what a surprise it's another energy tank i was kind of hoping that would be phase on just so we could be joking about how free it is yeah I, I, I mean, Dardus may be required. <laughs> That's true. OP may be re required. Somewhere, there's a Phazon suit. It could be anywhere, except mm -hmm. for Phazon Mining Tunnel. Yep. Yeah, Morph can save you if you mess up the, uh, whatever that room is. So, John pa Morgan. yeah, Pazmo's gonna get their fourth artifact here from, uh, SDA. That frigate crash site is the room I'm trying to think of. If you want to see every way to use Morph to save that climb, nice. watch the earlier race. <laughs> Cosmo not getting us? Where is, oh, here we go. Film was up. Okay. Got it, got it, got it. That's SDA. I thought the other one was SDA. That's Storage Depot. Or, uh... Storage deep away, right? No, that's I'm so awful with these names. Uh, something access. Storage depot is the flamethrower room, yeah. Right, security access. Security access hey, thank you. Thing. Cosmos back in the chat. You know you want to say it. It's funny to say. There you go. Boost ball room. The boost yeah. ball room. <laughs> so many fun boost ball tricks in that water <laughs> tank thing. Reminds me of like a water cooled CPU <laughs> setup from like 2009. Uh. Jeff is going to get their uh, artifact and E, I think, from Elder Chamber and Hall of the Elders. Mm -hmm. Thank you, chat, for humoring me. I appreciate it. I I don't know. Every room point, is boost room. <laughs> Avina, I am selfishly hoping for phase on Antharis. <laughs> Magma pool and... Um... Um, I didn't write them down. I thought it was something here in mines. They got the security. Oh yeah, what's that CA? For security access, yeah. I don't think Life Grove was Upper Fiery Shores and one in Mines. We'll find them sooner or later. Like I said, at this point, selfishly, I really want uh, Phazon on Thardis. What's that, Phazon? Could not tell. Flashed by very quickly. Nope. Yeah, it's phase on for Cosmo and go mode for him. Thanks to uh, the phase on hint, this is technically no mode for Cosmo. They have cleared a lot of the game, so may not need it. Right. I agree, also, with Duo P. I 
probably wouldn't, but I'm yeah. also not very good at the game. So energy tank. Right call. Yeah, energy tank here. Yeah, skip this fight for sure. And central ammo, yeah. Jeff up into Life Grove area. Yeah, this has been a very good race so far. Beetle Jam! Cosmo likes the Beetle Jam, is what I'm getting out of this. This is the Pretty second much. time he's subjected us to it. <laughs> Excuse me. That was an amazing first try bar skip there by Jeff. Thank you very I much. Nice done. Who I was about to say is basically one routing decision and one unfortunate plant fight away mm -hmm. from holding hands with Cosmo right now. Doing amazingly so far. It may not look like it, but Jeff is not as far behind as nope. it seems. Nope. Not at all. And also that bar skip was incredible. <laughs> Goodbye. Metroids. Yeah, Jeff did the full uh, sun chamber. Cosmo made quick room in the Hunter Met uh, quick work in the Hunter Metroid room. Checking, gonna go right now. Turn back. I mean, Cosmo's not. I mean, PMT can't have face on. And Jeff finds himself in the right place. For. Yeah. Pretty much everything. <laughs> Their best hope here is that uh, Faison's vanilla and Cosmo chooses to quit out for some reason after NQB. Which would be surprising. But, you know. Cosmo not did not happening. just save. Just in they case. have plenty of health. No, I know, but like saving just in case, like, you know, Omega Pirate has nothing. Well, if OP has nothing, they want to check uh, this next room here. Oh, right afterwards. Yes, 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 yes. And from there, they're going to take either the elevator or go up through yep. mines. Yeah. The, there's no reason to save here with this health, especially if you're not this good at the game. Um, there's, there's a few other checks we haven't seen yet. Thardis is the funniest. We haven't seen life grow, for example. Yeah, that was a perfect uh, trooper skip there. Power bombs, let's go. Jeff is right behind Cosmo. Jeff is thrilled about those power bombs. It looks like. Or bio. Yep. Thrilled about power bombs. I'm, I'm still gonna say uh throwing his face on. That was my original call uh, 20 minutes ago. Be the funniest option. Trust fall, yes. Trust fall failed. Jeff not going to the poop shoot. Jeff not going to the poop shoot, and Cosmo's gonna have. Yeah, phase I'm gonna on. go ahead. Vanilla and phase on. That is not a failed trust fall. That is a fully successful completed trust fall. Vanilla phase on suit for true go mode here. Let's go. This even randomized. Apparently not. <laughs> Shout out oats and goats. And his Cosmos warp. Hey, oats and goats, we're in the wrong. Uh, I know, wrong. Here. 
Hey, listen, before I started commentating this race, I was watching Ocha's Ocha's stream. So. I know this is a little out of uh, logic, so to speak, but. I can't Vanilla believe Mouse. it was Vanilla oh, Phase on. One of the best. Vanilla. Absolutely. Speedrunners of any game ever. 100%. Totally worth a check out if uh, you have a moment. Mm hmm. Oats and Goats is live right now. It was doing an insane map rando earlier. But uh, Cosmo was to do his own insanity here. Still two artifacts to go. Looks like going to route their way back to Chozo. Nope, Magmor. Jeff is, meanwhile, going to clear out mines, going to probably follow in Cosmo's footsteps, which is yep. a bummer here. You know, when you're behind, you don't want to be making the same plays, but there's not really anything they can do other than no, hoping Cosmo makes a massive mistake. Yeah, fiery shorters, then magma pool should be the checks left. Checks left, they're not checks. <laughs> Things stopping you from winning. The uh, Magmore theme sure is a banger, isn't it? It is. This is a really good theme. Chat, who wants to sing with me? Anyone? No? How has speed gaming not fired me yet? Uh, charisma. <laughs> charisma. Oh, there's our artifact. One to go. Cosmo, do the wall boost for the mains. Speed Gaming is an amazing organization. Like, they have got really so are. much going on, and it's, it's awesome to see all this. Like, we got on Speed Gaming 4 and Mario Brothers Rando Tournament. We got, what is this? Legend of Zelda, Rocky Rock, Last Chance 2. Like, there's, there's so much cool stuff here on this. Not to mention all the TOs from the Metroid Randomizer community mm -hmm. helping out with setting this all up and planning everything. Some of these uh, rule sets are wild. I'm just making sure everything's ready to go. Yeah, They're shout all. out to the TOs. Great job. And of course, obviously, the racers. Who are oh, the, absolutely. Blowing everyone out of the water right now. If only there was a tag for uh, the TOs they deserve. Oh, absolutely. And if only there were command buttons we could do in chat, like exclamation point R, exclamation point C, and exclamation point MPR. This will be the last time I uh, plug that before the end of the race. So follow our amazing runners, commentators, awesome trackers, and... Definitely check out the Metroid Prime Randomizer community as well. Check out the bracket, the Discord. Come say hi. Avino and I were chatting in the food. And may or may not have given up my Oreo truffles recipe. Which I'm so excited to. <laughs> Jeff is about to make their way into Lower Mines and discover that they are in just about gum. A little too late, unfortunately, like I said, but I mean, nine out of ten times their performance would have them winning this race. Oh, Jeff? Yeah. They've played, again, Jeff's been playing a great race and so has Cosmo. It is an absolute pleasure to watch these runners at work. There's our sixth artifact. And to celebrate, we get to watch Jeff fall into lava. Jeff, 
Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Cosmo fall into lava that he's probably not used to falling into. Okay, Rara in chat's hungry. Ooh, carrot cake. Delicious. And now it is on to the last bosses. Meta Ridley, Exo, and Essence. Chat, I don't know about you, but this has been an absolute pleasure to watch these runners. Would you agree? Show them some love in chat, please. It is always nice to watch two of the best players in uh, Metroid Prime just Absolutely. go out, give it their all, do the thing. Yep. Show us how crazy this game can be. Yep. Yes, Cosmo will probably skip Exo. You're correct. Yep. He's a fan of not fighting Exo. And I don't blame him. Not at all. Has Cosmo done 21%? Pretty sure. I'm not sure. Well, if you've got anyone who uh, does not want to learn Exoskip, tell them to do a 21% and then they will learn Exoskip. <laughs> So Cosmo here is uh, doing something that's not talked about a lot, but just standing in this weird corner after you break the first kind of like damage trigger on uh, Ridley. I'm phrasing this incorrectly. Uh, but staying in that little corner where Ridley lands, he won't charge at you. He'll just yell at you over and over again the majority of the time if you did it right. And so you get free missiles for the entire higher percent of uh entire percent entire duration of phase two i guess or three once you break his uh little chest bit it's not quite the same but yeah nice ridley fight from cosmo yeah you you can manipulate that fight to make it much easier There were so many awesome categories for a lot of games. I love randomizers. Just so fun. Yes, Cestrion, uh, Cosmo is, as we all know, one of the best any percent runners. Um, I just don't know if he's done low percent. Mm. Either way, I'm sure he knows the pain of fighting Exo without charge. What? That's that, that's that sounds percent. That that sounds terrible. It's awful. I couldn't do it in a single segment. It took me. That sounds terrible. Here we go. Exo skip time. Yep, that's exo skip. Yes, twenty one percent's awful. Looks like he got it right. Here comes the Metroid. Far fan in his tray. To answer a question in chat, Chargeless Exo is the second worst thing I've ever done in this entire game. That's the first. Um, early newborn. And Cosmo. He's got the setup. Should be yep. fine. Yeah. 
new EXO is barely legal. There we go. Hey, I just got good at old exoskip. Don't ban it. It's the only thing I can do. Set Strihan. All right, Cosmo is going to do some out of bounds stuff that looks like jumping on random nonsense, but is actually a lot harder than it looks. While Jeff makes his way to his go mode. Uh, you can easily do like a room delay to get past mm -hmm. the trigger before it starts or load delay I think you can technically get there faster than needing load delay according to Sam for the new exoskip but like no And here is Cosmo. Nice to done, Cosmo. Getting good uh, cancels here. The uh, goal here is to cancel the attack animations of Metroid Prime. XO, or not XO, uh, Essence. So that we skip from one phase to the next phase. The idea being if you wait long enough, they start the next animation, you interrupt it with a shot, and Instead of waiting for them to do the whole attack or dodge or whatever animation they're going to do, they just go through their checklist of, I do this, 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 this for nine actions. And then, oh, what was Cosmo trying to write there? N, O. I nope. Get it. I think it was close. I think I was trying to say nope. Oh, uh, Cosmo did get full skip. That's brutal. <laughs> so Jeff's in go mode. Jeff's got phase on. Very nice. And this should be it. I don't Game. have access Time. to the tracker for some reason. Do one of you mind sending the invite? It's Jeff. Hello, hello, hello. Jeff. Hello. I thought I was making a big gamble, but it turns out Cosmo probably just went fast. <laughs> that blue. is not terribly inaccurate. Yeah. The, uh, Cosmo looked like the boost ball was a rocket ship. Hello. GG's. GG's. GG's Cosmo and Jeff. Uh, yeah. So what I, I, I got to ask the obvious question. What did y'all think of uh, Vanilla Faison? 
Did you want to smash your, your monitors? <laughs> I'm glad it was there, because if it wasn't there, I was going to get really... I was going to start um, freaking out, because I was like, I only had a few more checks after that. Yeah, did, I was uh, kind of hoping the artist was the Phazon suit. Yeah, did you did you do that before hints? Like yeah, uh, so I got power bombs, got security access A, and I thought for a second I could brush the artifacts and get the phase on suit hint, but considering all I had left was Thardis, Flagra, and Life Grove at that point, and all of mines, I took the chance with mines. Yeah, I had uh, I had done Flagra by the point I went into mines, so I was in the similar situation as you. I had uh, I had Life Grove and Thardis, so I just uh, I said it's got to be in mines then, or at least you know Randavania loves to put the phase on suit in phase on mines. So uh, I thought I was taking a big gamble there, and maybe I thought you would have backtracked for the hint, uh, but turns out yeah uh, yeah you just uh, you were in the same kind of position as me, so. To add on to that conversation, uh, the two of you had almost all the same checks. Yep. With the exception of Flagra. And for the majority of the early part of the race, um, there was a couple of unfortunate decisions that ended up not mattering for routing. Just like you went the wrong way. You zigged instead of zagged. Yep. But for the majority of the race, that Flogger fight was the time difference between the two of you. And it pretty much, I mean, you know, you were in go mode. You just had two artifacts, I think, to collect. Yeah, two two yeah. more artifacts. I had a Magma Pool and a Fiery Shores left. Yeah, two on-the-way artifacts. You were not actually that far behind if Cosmo had also decided to fight Flagra, or if you had not. Yep. That's what I thought. I was hoping and praying that Flagra wasn't anything. I was trying to get week five out of my head. Like, don't do Flagra. Like, oh. statistically, it's going to have nothing, so just ignore it. And I... <laughs> thank goodness it didn't. Yeah. I was going to say, I also realized that I, uh, I completely... Uh forgot tower of light or it was not good enough yeah i uh it was yeah. a very late check for cosmo so. yeah i went i had a moment of after i got like hall of the elders i was like okay uh do i just go into mines or oh tower of light that's almost always phased on suit in my experience so i saved by ice beam or vanilla ice beam location and just backtracked and then when None of the wave checks were anything. I safe scummed out. I was like, okay, it has to be mines. Like, when I saw the hints, I was like, great, we're gonna need everything to be in go mode gravity, supers, charge, power bombs. So it was pretty the much just hints a full were tracker. A very funny, either like, it's free and easy if you just like get one of those seeds or uh, bad. Also, uh, chat brought it up. Jeff kind of saw it, but yeah, that uh, first try bar skip was very fun to watch. It was well timed. That was when we were discussing, you know, a phase on suit that wasn't in lower mines could give you a chance. Oh, first try bar skip. Yeah, I actually went through frigate. So you you were making up time by doing that. Yeah, I just uh, dipped dead. in and did hat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was just I, in full clear mode. Yeah, it's the same thing. I was just I was trying to be pretty thorough because I still needed power bombs, so I wanted to get most of the checks on the way. Uh, I I will say I was <laughs> my rooms went from like really fifty fifty and like really good or really bad. <laughs> <laughs> and it was just rough because it's like all of a sudden it's like i feel like i'm playing great next room it's like oh slow down <laughs> next room playing great so maybe it evened out uh for like an average but yeah it felt like a, a real roller uh, roller coaster of emotions there yeah if phase on suit wasn't where it was or the check behind it i like i was like yep i've lost <laughs> i was like 
I only had s six more checks left, and that was Life Grove, Blogger, and Thardis. Yeah, we were pretty much in the same position, so. Mm -hmm. I've I've seen you play. I know you go fast. <laughs> that is my <laughs> that is one of my weaknesses. So you both definitely go very fast. Well, I I knew it'd be close, <clears throat> and I figured, okay, maybe like Jeff knows that I might have the movement advantage. He might skip some checks, and that might help him. So that's what I was thinking the entire time. Like, oh, what if Flogger was something? Oh, what if what if he backtracked to Life Grove, and that's what Phazon was, and he's just finishing right now. I was that's what I was thinking the entire time in lower minds, and every single check was just nothing. I was like, come on, where's Phazon? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> good point by chat. 100%. Nice one hundred percent on the tracker. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> New world record, let's go. Uh, the goal, I got nothing else. Great race from both of you. This should pretty much guarantee Cosmo playoffs. So I believe Cosmo is going to finish up here, Swiss, at 5 and 1. Should be 6 and up. <laughs> yeah, we're not going to go there. Or we don't talk about that. Nope, we don't talk about week 5 at all. <laughs> nope, didn't happen. Mm hmm. Would have been real cool to go four and two, but uh, I'm also happy that I I'm probably not going to be making it to the top eight. But uh, you I might. Was, I mean, might. my my vehicle score is going crazy right now. <laughs> I can't wait till this next match is registered. I'm going to be going to be at You're the top like, there. Plus Fifteen vehicles. <laughs> There's probably going to be some tiebreakers. If I had to guess. Uh, that said, with the number of players we still have left, it should cut like one four and two player i think maybe two we shall see yeah jeff blame essence on this why am i blaming essence <laughs> essence was well essence. if essence had done what it did last week you would have a different opponent oh that's true <laughs> i was hoping maybe at some point you forgot how much e-tanks were worth and you would have just grabbed like 10 and be like oh, i'm golden and then... dude i grabbed so many not yeah, even. hey, where's my tracker? I was at, at twenty-two. I was at thirty-one. <laughs> <laughs> oh goodness! I love that. That's like the equivalent of like seventy e tanks, though. Yeah, that's yeah. Seven. That was me. That's four, eight, twelve. That's five, five e tanks. Oh my goodness! Mm -hmm. Five and a half. Oh well, yeah. I mean, GGs. Hopefully you can get in the top eight. Yeah, we'll see how the rest of these matches go. We're so early on. There's still a lot of games to be played in week six. So hyped to see the... Uh, Plenty of rando, yes. This week has already been pretty cool to watch, so I'm excited to see the rest of these matches. Oh, yeah, me too. Have we mentioned that you all should go back and watch uh, this morning's race? With just saying. I don't think we have yet. Not, okay. I'm not, not on I'm, this I'm, I'm not just sure. Just saying. That that was one of the races of the tournament. Definitely go watch that. <laughs> well, how, how does it rank versus me and Diggle? Uh, oh, you... yeah, no, it's easily the best race of the tournament so far. Interesting. It it's up there. You I'll, and Diggle uh... is definitely in the conversation, but I don't think yep. there's anything it, else on that it, tier. The thing was about that race is it was the entire race. Yeah. <laughs> from start to literally finish. from the first 30 seconds yep to the end of the race My, our race or this one uh the this one from one. this morning i uh, this morning yeah well y'all are hyping it up it's gonna do that after this it's uh make sure you're willing to commit some time but... exactly <laughs> <laughs> oh no <laughs> how much time are we talking two and a half hours about yeah over two oh, hours boy. <laughs> But it it's is a, two and a half hours of content. There's not like much. stretches oh. of they're just walking through stuff we've already seen. It is content started within the first thirty seconds. Yeah. <laughs> the race with you and Diggle is Legendary. legitimately the only other race that mm -hmm. this year has <laughs> been on that level. Well, I'll check it out. Yeah. You should. So should anyone listening. Absolutely. All right. Anything else from any of the runners, the trackers, Avena? Anything else? 
Follow the commentators. Follow the runners. Yeah, follow the runners. Exclamation yeah. mark C, exclamation mark R. Appreciate the last that. thing I would say is just uh, GG to Cosmo again, and uh, good luck on the rest of the tournament. Mm -hmm. Right back at you. Peace. Good luck to both of you. Awesome. All right, for uh, Op82, Avina, Cosmonaut, Jeff, Schwartz, and myself, we'll see you next mission. The next mission will be tomorrow, 2 p.m. Eastern. Channel to be determined. It's going to be Sparkle J versus Schwartz Gandhi and Spring Ball and IS are enabled. Uh, Everything else Spring is Ball. normal. So, with that being said, we'll see you next mission and catch you tomorrow at 2 p.m. Eastern. Cheers. Have a good one. Cheers.